Hey collectors, Anthony from Hatches Nut here, and today we're going to look at the Micro Machine Star Trek Collector Set 1, this big boy right here, and um, I found him at my dad's uh, store, uh, just kind of sitting on a shelf, somebody donated or sold it, I don't know how it works there, and uh, I grabbed this guy right up, I was like, oh yeah, some classic Star Trek ships, and uh, we're going to take a look at that when we come back. Here we are, collector set one. I apparently paid 60 bucks for this thing from my dad's store, according to the sticker in the, the corner here. I uh, didn't have any of these chefs, and I'm like so happy that I finally have them now. And it just, oh God, I it just, I'm so close to collecting everything, but the last two ships are so expensive. Uh, and if you watch my sorted sets video, you know which two ships those are. So, here is what is in this box, and we're going to take a look at what's inside momentarily. Now, I've never removed any of the ships from the box. Uh, I, I obviously looked at them, but I didn't actually remove them. There's still tape. The original tape is still holding them in place. So, we got the Enterprise A, which is the refit of the 1701. The original one from the uh, TV series, uh, you know, refit for the movie. And then we have uh, the Enterprise right uh, here, which um, is the, the original, I guess, but this one is updated. If you watch the assorted figures, I have an Enterprise, um, but it's not this one or the refit. I don't know how else to explain it. It's the TV series original. So as we continue on, uh, Klingon Battlecruiser, these are the classic looking ships. So of course, and then this is the Romulan Bird of Prey. Excelsior, uh, this is the Klingon Bird of Prey. This is the Reliant. Uh, if you remember, I believe the Reliant's the one that Khan hijacked. Then we got a Vorcha. We got the Enterprise D. We have a Warbird, a Borg Cube, a Ferengi Murata, and a Shuttlecraft. Uh, craft. And this is the, the Next Generation Shuttlecraft. A Deep Space Nine, a Galar class Cardassian warship, and a Runabout. So, I guess it's time to take stuff out of the box! So we finally got them out of the box, and the box had this nifty diorama, so that's in the background here. And uh, I kind of put things up, Federation, um, non-Federation, you know, this is called a Turek Nor for right now. <laughs> um, so let's start with the thing that, like, I thought was common with these ships, but this uh, Bird of Prey doesn't have the bendable rings, uh, wings like the Bounty. It's a little disappointing. But he's still got some nifty brown and red coloring on the wings. And this is an actual Klingon. Unlike the Bounty, which for some reason had English on it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's, it's just fantastic looking. I just wish the wings did a little bit more. And then we end up with the Cardassian ship. And uh, it is, is nicely colored. They have a similar pattern. Uh, for their ships, they have a similar look. I mean, obviously their symbol is the ship's design or vice versa. So you kind of see where they're going. There's a lot of nice little detail on here. And because it's been in the box, like the rest of these, they're all almost in perfectly new condition, which is just excellent. And if I remember the lookup on this set, uh, the fact that I got it for 60 bucks, I, I, I probably saved about 40 bucks. I think they're going for 100 for the, um, the first two collector sets. Because the third collector set is astronomical, just because the Enterprise E is in it. Uh, so yeah, just a level thing. Here is a, another Klingon ship. Has the Klingon symbol here. Um, I, I love the look. This is way more like futuristic compared to this. But then you know, here's this older one. Uh, obviously, uh, this is the newest version. It's a Vorcha, I think, and this is Bird of Prey, and this is the classic Bird of Prey. And you can see this one has the Klingon symbol on it. And uh, the one thing that bothers me is the fact that there's a hole in the top here. I feel like there was a piece here and then maybe it got lost because there was it definitely wasn't in in the box. So I, I realized somebody owned this before it went to my dad's store. Uh, so this bothers me a little bit, but not enough to go, huh, I wonder what. Although now I'm kind of like, oh, I can always look at the box back and find out that's that is actually the design. And here we go. So, 
no, there's supposed to be a cap on there uh, that covers the top and fills in that space there. So, yeah, that's missing. So that's a little sad, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers, but still looks good. And, of course, we got the Romulan ships, uh, the classic and the new uh, Warbirds. And uh, as you can see, this one has a bird on it. How come it has an Earth bird on it, no one asks? Who knows? But uh, it has that classic design, uh, which, you know, it, it's, it's nice. I, I don't hate it. Uh, I actually have a diorama with this ship, uh, this ship with the proper front on it, and uh, I believe this ship uh, in in, uh, in my room, in my bedroom. So I, I you know, I, I do like them. So don't get me wrong here. But this one uh, is, is a nice, uh, just a way open space. I never got why this was so important. I mean, you compare it to the previous one, you're like, well, ah, why? I mean, there's no air in space, so really, what does it matter? But, you know, that's what this looks like. So, we're going to move these aside here. Deep Space Nine, Turok Nor itself. And, um, I, I, this and the Borg Cube are probably among the largest looking. The chances are they use the same amount of plastic as the Enterprise D does. But, uh, this one, the, the inner ring looks a little warped. Again, uh, use a low setting uh, hair dryer uh, to, to weaken it a little bit, put it into place, let it set and cool, and you can fix it. Because you can notice the, the rings are kind of, this one's kind of off to the side here. Um, just the way it is, it's been stored for who knows how long. Uh, but uh, yeah, Deep Space Nine, it's just, it's really good looking. Uh, <laughs> just nicely detailed. It kind of reminds me of those fidget spinners, except, you know, the blocks are in the way. Alright, going on here, Borg Cube, I know it's not Federation, i just trying to balance things out, and my brain went, well, I put them like this, but my brain was like, nah, that's not. So, <laughs> Borg Cube, it is... Actually, hold on, I'm gonna... Okay, well, that's different. That's the copyright information. It's That's not actually on a Borg Cube. Okay, so this is the bottom. Here's the top. Uh, just imagine that life size coming at you. Um, yeah, you would run. I, I do like the, there's like three colors on here. There's the base, kind of like the, the metal gray. And then there's like lighter color and a darker brown, like a tan of brown. I guess it's supposed to look like the nodes are in process or something or lit up. And uh, that, that's that's okay, that's, that's actually nice. It feels hollow. I'm just going to point that out. I feel like it's hollow. I should also mention that this set, in addition to not having the top of the ship, now it's going to start bothering me. I don't have the top of the ship! Um, it did not come with stands. So I don't have stands to put these on. Uh, that's a little sad. So let's, let's get into the uh, Enterprises. We're going to grab the Enterprises uh, that are in this set. And we start with the classic one, which I already kind of showed you a second ago. The 1701. Uh, I I want to believe that this is the updated one because uh, I think I have the original one in, in another set. Uh, so this is this is kind of like you just fix the nacelles on it, give it these little fins. Uh, I mean, it's fairly plain looking. You, you can tell it has some designs in the saucer, uh, kind of like a wheel pattern and spokes. Uh, but I mean, otherwise straightforward. A nice dish on the front here. Uh, metal part in the back here for the dock. Yeah, so that's pretty good. So let's um, take a look at the A, which is its re movie refit. A little bit sleeker. Uh, the the saucer, my understanding is this ship's actually a little bit smaller, but then the Enterprise C is even smaller. Uh, and then the B is basically like the Excelsior here. So basically, um, you see that the spoke pattern is a lot more pronounced here. Uh, you see that there is a bridge and then like a backup bridge or something in the back here. Uh, then we go through the nacelles, they're all sleek. So this this is a fairly interesting design. You can see the, the NC-1701 on the be bottom here. Very nice, very nice. So then we get to the Enterprise B's Excelsior class. This is Excelsior itself. This is, this is a Sulu ship. This is the NCC-2000. 
and uh, it has that blue and metallic look. You know, the funny thing is, it kind of reminds me of like the Titan came after all these ships, obviously 80, 100 years later. And the Titan's design, it reminds me of the Excelsior design. So I, I just thought that was interesting. Maybe there is a relationship here. Maybe that's that's the leap. But uh, you see the nice blue detailing on the nacelles, a uh, red along for the uh, lights. Uh, here is the dock. And, um, yeah, I, I, I love the detail and design on it. And here's his dish. And uh, I'm going to assume this is, would be where the captain's yacht would be if they had one. I don't know if it does. I don't know when they actually came in. My understanding is it was a process or something at the beginning. I don't... So then here is the Enterprise D. And um, I think I have an Enterprise D somewhere. That maybe the top comes off. I don't remember exactly. But uh, this one is decently detailed. Uh, you can see the nacelles. Let me point out something. The, I'm going to show, like here, let me grab him. So you notice the detail on the sides here, and uh, there's kind of nothing on here. On here, they kind of flip it a little bit, put the details on the top, and then the, the nacelles are lit up around the sides and in the front, rather than in the back. So it's kind of like a cross between the original and the refit in that design. And you kind of see the inspirations as in they go along here. And uh, you see the, the laser array on the top and bottom. You use this dish. So yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty sleek looking when you think about it compared to its previous ships. And also a lot larger in reality. But then let's go talk about going back to the original, the movies. Here's the Reliant. And... Um, it has that kind of common saucer that um, you, you see on the Excelsior class. But it has a more pronounced uh, spoke pattern. Uh, it has this, I don't know, the, the docking bays back here. Uh, it has this, why a spoiler in space? Who knows? Uh, the nacelles are at the bottom. It is, it is a little nicely detailed. Uh, I appreciate the the look of it. Um, you can tell there's a little bit of error on the rounding here on the detail, but beggars can't be choosers, yo. Enterprise D's shuttlecraft is a nice little sleek number. Uh, you can see the progression if you see this and then the Voyager shuttlecraft. You can see from the Galileo to this, to the Voyager shuttlecraft, the progression in the design and um, it, it's, it, technology as time evolves. This is a, uh, here's the door in the back, nicely uh, detailed. You can see that the ship is called the Berman, um, who is, you know, one, the executive producer of the show. Uh, next up is a runabout. Now, this is from Deep Space Nine. It looks a lot rougher than the, the, the shuttle craft here, which is, uh, I don't know, maybe a sign of Deep Space Nine. But, I mean, technically, these are Federation ships where Deep Space Nine was built by the Cardassian slash Bajorans. So you, you wonder why this design is technically a leap from this design. Um, I, I mean, obviously this is bigger. I mean, this seats like eight, maybe at most. Uh, this one seats a small military contingent, a troop or whatever. But uh, it, it's just uh, it's just different. It's just different enough to be interesting. So then finally, this is a Ferengi ship. And uh, it's a lot of orange, uh, some white and yellow, a lot of detail on the bottom here. Ooh, that actually feels nice. De oh, this is even detail. Oh, that is... It looks like a pair of teeth. Um, I, I, I remember we saw this in an Next Generation episode. Uh, the Ferengi, there was three of them. They tried to trick uh, Picard and the crew. Uh, that obviously failed epically. But, uh, yeah, that's a Ferengi ship. Then that is the uh, first collector set. Do you have any of these? Let me know in the comments. What, what about your favorite show, Captain, etc.? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.